Hey everyone, here's next with Fowler Ridge. Purpose of this video today is to address old Biden Leany. Let's go ahead and get started. So I just got done running 107 drill in the description box. The uh, drill is issued down there below. You can do it for yourself if you get an opportunity. Today I ran it with iron sights on my 16 inch carbine. Only had two out here. Both 75 yards, gotta check my natural point of aim. I got a little hurry on this one, but I'm uh, only down two, 1915, shot that with irons, as I said. So, course of fire is in the description box below. So I do this almost every week, uh, but this week it had a little bit more motivation after uh, watching the uh, acting president's uh, little speech yesterday. See, I'm a history major, I have a master's degree in history. So uh, I've heard and seen this kind of demon before uh, from many, many countries in the past mostly in Europe, although certainly not isolated to that. And I watched a senile, demented, angry, confused, uh, wannabe dictator, puppet, if you will, uh, who's just coming more and more unhinged as each week and each uh, day and each month passes on. And when you label half the people in this country fascists and a threat to our quote unquote democracy, first of all, we're not a democracy. That stuff needs to stop. Uh, I want to challenge each and every viewer of this video out there. Anytime you hear somebody say democracy, that we're in a democracy or threatens our democracy, I want you to stop the mid-sentence and correct them and say that we are a representative constitutional republic. And there are vast differences between a democracy and a republic. Now, I know I probably got some soy beta cut political science major out there watching. Have probably has never lifted a single heavy thing in his life. Probably never fired a gun. Probably may have never made a woman tingle. And uh, I want to say that uh, you probably should read up on your history, and I mean a real history book by people that actually earn real degrees instead of pontificating leftist socialist talking points. So here we are, uh, extra motivation today for my PT, for my marksmanship, and uh, problematic things that the idiot in chief, Mr. Biden Leany, said uh, last night. For those of you that you know, may live in New York or California, that would be a reference to Mussolini. I'm combining Biden and Mussolini's name. A true fascist. Mussolini was a fascist. Hitler was a socialist. He's a, a national socialist. Mussolini was an actual fascist. Very little working uh, differences between the two. But uh, the end result's always the same. Uh, demonizing the majority of your population. The government's always right. The news covers for the government. And uh, people's rights get stripped away. And then people uh, get uh, thrown in prison for disagreeing with the government. And I think, honestly, uh, I think that's what many uh, Democrats out there would have no problem doing to people uh, that believe in the Constitution. The, the vast irony of the whole uh, presentation by Biden was he did it in front of Independence Hall. Uh, I don't know if he was lost on the irony there that at that very location in 1776 that the Continental Congress gathered together and uh, demanded that their rights were upheld and that they, they were the ones that were responsible for their own rights. So a group of men who believed in natural rights, who believed in limited government, and who were in the act of fighting a clash of arms with a tyrannical government, were in that building demanding that governments leave the natural rights of people alone. And that the purpose of government was to protect those rights, but of course then they figured out that when governments do become destructive to that, it's the right of the people to alter or abolish that government. When government becomes destructive to those means. So we've got a, a government today mostly Democrats, but there are some Republicans in there that are on board as well. We've got a government today that would be glad, glad to strip away your Second Amendment, your First Amendment, your Fourth Amendment, your Fifth, your Sixth, your Eighth, and certainly they could give a crap about the Tenth Amendment. So you've got a government out there that labels us fascists for disagreeing with them and demanding that they uphold their end of the bargain of the Constitution, which is stay the hell out of my life and stay away from my freedom. So you know, I don't know if uh, if he tries to elicit a violent response. I think that the people that uh, put him in power are goading good good people like me and you watching this video. They may be goading us into a response. I'm not going to take the bait to you absolutely have to. But uh, my, my encouragement and motivation for you watching this, regardless of your age, regardless of where you live in this country, regardless of, of what you do, veteran status, whatever, my, my advice to you, my motivation for you right now is, uh, prepare yourselves, you know, prepare yourselves for uh, for physical fitness, prepare yourself for proficiency at arms, read a history book, know where the winds are blowing, and uh, notice that when you hear rhetoric, 
from a leader of one of the most powerful nations in the world, ostracizing, marginalizing, and threatening half of the country, that that should be the alarm clock waking up in your soul, and uh, that maybe you should start paying attention a little bit more and uh, prepare yourselves and uh, actually think about the possible consequences of uh, letting this continue on for another two years. Uh, Republicans, get a spine. Stop being the battered spouse. Yank his ass out of office by impeachment. And if you Democrats had a uh, single ounce of honor or integrity, you'd, you'd do the same thing. But uh, like I said, I, I won't hold my breath. I just got done running a mile and a half. So, you know, uh, guys, get ready out there. I've, uh, I've, I'm not scared. I'm not like living in fear. I'm actually setting out there and, and getting ready for something that may or may not happen in the future. It's why reason we always train. It's the reason why I've trained tens of thousands of people over the last 20 years, the firearms instructor. It's one of the reasons why I taught history at the high school and college level. It's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, I encourage people out there that are firearms owners to get off your asses and get out there and start training and train your mind and your spirit and your body. You got to do all three of those. If you want to learn how to do this even better, come out to Valor Ridge. We've got a handful of classes that are available for the rest of the year, but other than that, I can't, uh, can't make room for you. So get in now while you can, guys. Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge reminding you the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others, especially socialists and fascists throughout history.